This is hilarious. I, it, it's look, I'm not a math guy. I'll just say that right up before we look at this clip number 14. Um, I'm not a math guy, so I don't begrudge people any math issues. But there was, and I can't remember when this was. It was a, it maybe it was 2008. There was, uh, or maybe it was 2012. I can't, there was, there was a series of, uh, there was, uh, it was either like a primary debate or a general election debate. And it was out of college. I want to say St. Ansel Anselm's College, maybe up somewhere like in Vermont. Anselm in uh, New Hampshire. In New Hampshire. Yeah. So probably primary debate. And I can't for the life of me remember who the, I, I want to say it was one of the Fox News um, uh, hosts. I want to say maybe, um, and I don't think he's on anymore. I can't remember that guy's name. But they were talking about like, college professors at a, at a college like St. Anselm's, right? I mean, if you're a, like a business uh, law professor at Dartmouth, you're making deep, like several hundreds of thousands of dollars. But if you're a college professor at St. Anselm's, you're making tens of thousands of dollars. It's conceivable that there's, you know, deans there that are making like, you know, in the hundred thousands, maybe even like 200,000. But your average professor particularly even you know adjuncts and whatnot i mean adjuncts make virtually nothing yep um they don't make a lot of money and one of these fox news guys you know talked about the enormous amount of money that this audience was making or something to that effect i can't remember exactly what the but it, but it raised the specter of just how out of touch the news media was with what like actual Americans w earn on average. And that's not a math thing. I can't do math, but I have a sense it's a of, social thing. It's a social thing. And, and really, when you're talking about these public policies, it's really a fundamental thing. And with that said, I give you Patrick Bet David interviewing Jesse Waters and talking about the um, California minimum wage law that went into effect last week for fast food workers who are now making how much an hour is it? 20. $20 an hour. Cha-ching. Go ahead. Governor Newsom, the restaurant he owns, jo offering jobs at $16 an hour despite new state laws are $20 an hour for workers. So Plump Jack Cafe, a restaurant partly owned by Gav Gavin Newsom. Pause it for one faces second. We should also just be clear because I, I know he won't talk about this. The law applies to fast food chains, but individual mom and pop store, or, you know, restaurants, we just call it mom and pop because more often than not, they get investors. And that's probably what was going on with the Gavin News. I don't know any of the details. Not a particularly, you know, booster of Gavin Newsom's, but uh, go ahead. Pump Jack Cafe, a restaurant partly owned by Gav Gavin Newsom, faces backlash for advertising a part-time busser position at 16 bucks an hour, despite the new state law mandating a $20 hourly wage for fast food workers. Despite Newsom's dis disengagement from day-to-day -day operations following his election as governor in 2018, his business's jobs listing drew criticism from Republican Assembly member Joe Patterson, who questioned the inconsistency, pointing out the $20 wage requirement while fast food chain like Burger King in LA raise minimum menu prices to accommodate the increase the wage gap price raises concerns about affordability etc cetera, etc cetera. Tom your thoughts on what's going on with Gavin Newsom in California well look bad policies have consequences and bad leadership sometimes it comes home to roost we we know at least uh, half of America is willing to admit Gavin Newsom is a dis, is a duplicit politico coming out of the you know the the Pelosi crime family who desperately <laughs> wants so to run crime for family. president and he's been trying to make himself the shadow over the last year, just in case somebody falls down the stairs. And now we find out that he owns a business and they're not even in compliance with the, with the uh, populist movement that he went out on the $20 an hour rage. And then it's not just a group of businesses. And this was a Wall Street Journal story that the Daily Mail picked up. But this came out of the journal. It's the California Business Roundtable. That is one of the largest business groups and it is 
largely independent. There are Republicans, Democrats, and independents that are business owners that are part of the business roundtable. It leans conservative, but it's got a very big tent there, and they are all coming back to the state saying, look, all these tax increases, a half a percent on this, a half a percent on this, disability tax on here. Anybody that's worked there has seen it. And now they're coming back and saying, hey, there's a revolt. And by the way, the revolts are coming out of nowhere. These are the remaining businesses. These aren't the ones that have closed and people have left the state. This, so it's all coming home to Pause roost for, for Gavin Newsom. I mean, first off, breaking businesses don't want to be taxed uh, more. That's the story that he's telling. The other is... Uh, Part of his, owning a business is paying the taxes. If the taxes are raised and you can't pay them, it sounds like you're not very good at business. Exactly. And again, the law says that it is for um, eateries that are part of a chain that have 50 or more nationwide. In other exactly. words, massive corporations that uh, franchise, franchisee uh, plays here. That have so, larger margins and so, can pay pay people by, you know, they can raise the price. McDonald's can raise the price of a hamburger by five cents, and that can cover everything if they really need to do it's that. It's probably even less. I mean, but sure. Be that as it may, this guy has to lie about the article they just re read. He isn't going, you know, these, these restaurants that are one-offs, they're in compliance. They're not out of compliance. That's what the law says. His picture of, of California as a vast wasteland, we're talking about what uh, it's the what fourth biggest economy in the world? Go ahead. Closed and people have left the state. This, so it's all coming home to roost for Gavin Newsom. He deserves these headlines that he's getting right now. And if people are paying attention, this is the guy that wants to be president. Jesse, I know you love Gavin's policies. Uh -huh. What are your thoughts about this wonderful <laughs> like, governor's? You're name? very good at math, so see if you can do this in your head. I, you probably can. If you're making $20 an hour to work at a fast food restaurant, right? Is that is that six figures? Are you making six? No, no, no. 40, 40 grand. 50, 40 grand. 50 is just two exit <laughs> two and out a few zeros. Yeah. Okay, so. 40K a year. Okay, 40K a year. Yeah. So, and then if your husband or wife is also there, you're making. I right, pause it for one second. Do you see what just happened? <laughs> This idiot who makes easily millions of dollars. Millions. Five million a year uh, estimated by the big lead. At, at Fox News. Is teeing up to get, like, how disgusting is it that these workers are going to be making now over, when he says six figures, he means over $100,000 a year. And as soon as he finds out that he is off by a factor of two plus essentially he immediately pivots to but wait a second everybody else in their family may be working too well he does he doesn't figure out that he's actually wrong by a factor of two plus he thinks he's wrong by a factor of two because he does the math wrong again a second time he says, okay. yeah just add your significant other but that only gets you to eighty well, thousand. you need well, a whole nother half of a significant but, other on top of the one that you've added yeah, to make see, rent like all of his resent that he is trying to uh, instigate against those fast food workers is based on a complete fantasy that exists in his head that these guys are going to be making $100,000. Now, he's making $5 million. So even if somebody working at a fast food store was making $100,000 a year, which, of course, they're not even remotely close to, that would be, and I'm not a math guy either, but... 50 times less? Is that what it is? 50 times Ooh. less than what he's making annually? I got a better source for his salary. According to Business Insider, he reportedly secured a $20 million annual salary. Excuse me. 200 times more he's making than these people. Oh, sorry. No, this was... I, I, I clicked through Google. Uh, that was Tucker Carlson. So, yeah, let's go with five. I mean, let's the go. last... 50 people. times more. Sure. So, go back a little bit here and just uh, but watch... But he deserves his... it because of all of his intellect. I mean, his yeah. math skills are on display. All the letting air out of uh, w women's tires. All right, go back a little bit because I want you to just watch, like, the ease in which he pivots after he finds out his fundamental assumption... Right, because what we're talking about is what do these people get paid? How can they exist in the world? The median, um, uh, the 
Forty-eight thousand dollars a year, I believe, is the is the median, right? Um, poverty for an individual is in the teens, maybe. In California, and maybe you may you know a little more expensive, probably without a doubt, housing and whatnot, depending on where you live. Um, but here's Jesse Waters just throwing this out as if it's like reality. It's fascinating. This is the guy that wants to be president. Just, Whoa! I know you love Gavin's <laughs> policies. But oh. What are you talking about? This wonderful like, governor. You're very good at math. So see if you can do this in your head. I, you probably can. If you're making twenty dollars an hour to work at a fast food restaurant, right? Is that is that six figures? Are you making? No, no, no. no. Forty, 40 grand. 50, forty grand. Fifty is just two exit two and out a few zeros. Yeah. Okay, so forty k a year. Okay, full time. Forty k a year. Yeah. So and then if your husband or wife is also there, you're making a hundred thousand dollars as a family. Sure. Both working. Positive. For a second, hold on for a second. There you go. No, no, he wants to say this number in and and let's be clear, you're making eight hundred bucks a week, right? Forty hours a week. This is very easy math, actually, for someone like me. Forty hours a week, twenty bucks an hour, that's eight hundred bucks a week. Is fifty two weeks in a year. That means you get no vacation to make that forty thousand. No vacation. No vacation. To be fair, you'd be making 41.6, is that what it is? 55 times eight, there, 40. Yeah. I mean, f you'd make $41,600. And if your wife was working there, you guys would make $83,200. Pre-tax. Pre-tax, no vacation. You never go on vacation. You don't get one week of vacation. And yet he can't even be he can't even make his argument based upon that. He has to inflate the, their combined income now by 20 percent. Go ahead. So there you're making one hundred thousand dollars as a family. Sure. Both working at McDonald's. Eighty yes. grand. Okay, that is OK. That's crazy. That is crazy because that job really doesn't require much. So it's inflating the entire, mm -hmm. you know, uh, labor sector and, and the happy meal and the happy meal unhappy which, very unhappy which, which i'm very unhappy about but i believe gavin newsom will be president one day the man is smooth he's already currying up to the republican side you saw him go on hannity he dive bombed a couple of fox news events he's savvy inflating the labor oh, wait, sector was it twenty dollars a week uh, 40 hours a week comes out to 38 400 what no oh, no so i was doing that Oh, a different stuff. Inflating the labor sector is uh, what capitalists say when workers are getting more to eat. It is, um, it's astonishing. Their, their whole, like, it's, this is all an aesthetic. Mm -hmm. It is, it's just, I don't like the idea that the guy at McDonald's is, his whole family is making for a, a, a hundred thousand, even though it's not a hundred thousand. I mean, it's just fascinating to watch the mental gymnastics that he has to go to justify knocking these people. Um, it is, it's so gross and disgusting. Yeah. And I have, uh, done not not exactly what uh he does i mean a daily show is is hard on, uh, on television it's not a super easy here either frankly he is a lot more sports staff and shows up and of course he also says nothing that, that indicates you'd have to read or know even like even even wonder like here he is opining about the idea of what it the uh, how disastrous and and really sort of like inappropriate that's what he's really saying it's sort of morally repugnant the idea that they would uh, be earning this much money for working at mcdonald's and it never even occurs to him as his car is taking him to uh the former bank where pdb is or the car is taking him to his uh um his set on sixth avenue up in uh, new york city it never occurs to him to take out the calculator that he holds in his hand and go i wonder yeah i wonder twenty dollars an hour mm -hmm. let's say they work 40 hours a week because at the mcdonald's they're going to avoid at all costs paying anybody uh overtime if they can afford it if they can afford not to um times 52 assuming that they g get no vacation because they shouldn't right i mean you don't want to give these people any vacation 
that would mean like they're almost like human beings. Let's see. 40 times 20 equals 800 times 52, 41,600, huh? Weird. Wow. But um, let's assume that his wife is working there. So that's uh, plus 41,600. And, oh, that's only, uh, oh, that's, that's less than 80. Pre-tax. But let's assume that his kid's also working there. That's over a hundred thousand dollars. There you go. Working at McDonald's. He, there you he, go. I, For I, full time, his full time uh, kid working there. Yeah. I've produced news and I have uh, worked at McDonald's. And I'll just say the uh, Jesse is on very thin ice when he talks about jobs uh, compensated higher than what they demand from the person performing the the uh, uh, work. And he should try to work a lunch rush. Yeah. Uh, in McDonald's kitchen. You know what? But before he does that, he should try to work the uh, 8 p.m. slot on Fox News because I'm not seeing too much coming out from his end of things in terms of publicity. Um, and this isn't going to help matters. Not fill in those Tucker Carlson white supremacist shoes as neatly as I think that he thought he might have. Um, that's just amazing. I mean, what, what, it's so naked how, how much is a those people are. $10? It really is. It got a lot of like that George Herbert Walker Bush. I don't know if anybody ever saw that where he was like, look at this scanner thing at the supermarket. I mean, it's been so out of touch. Yeah. Um, that really is impressive, though. Okay. Um, Dan from Columbus. Maybe I'm misremembering, but didn't Jesse Waters get his start as some fake on the ground reporter for Bill O'Reilly where he'd run around co- uh, colleges badgering students to try and get to class? I think yep. he was making at least $20 an hour. I wonder if he uh, popped any of those students' tires to give them a ride home after. Yeah, he did that to uh, Amanda Turkle. That's why yep. uh, Ryan Grimm. Um, what did he do? Squared off. Oh, he harassed uh, Amanda. Oh, he har- oh. called her on vacation. That's not who I was thinking. I was thinking of his uh, current wife. He's his wife, but he he went out and harassed her with his microphone. Ah, uh, okay. And that's why uh, uh, Ryan, Grimm. Uh, Ryan Grimm got into a little bit of a scuffle. With ah. Him. Yep. Had to regulate a little bit. Oh, I'm yep. seeing. Wow, Ryan is on his Wikipedia entry for that literal incident. Good for Ryan. Yep. Oh, Good yeah. for Ryan. Yep. yep. Pacifism only goes so far. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We've talked to Ryan on this show about that. <laughs> we can bring it up again. Next we should bring it up every up. time. He, if both criticizing his ties, that's what you like to do. Yep. And then, uh, in fact, I think he was wearing him. a tie when he did that. I think it was after like the White House correspondence yeah, dinner right. at like a after party. And I think it was mm, well into the after party. Mm. And I want to say, I think that's right. Yeah. Uh, Ryan. Better not have been a Windsor. He's not. not a small guy. No, I know. Ryan's tall. Yeah, Ryan's he's... tall. Both of them are probably pretty Yes, six water's four. pretty big, too. Um, but they don't always necessarily, it doesn't necessarily mean anything. You can watch the uh, video of, of Crowder. Uh, and I was out in Madison when that happened, I think. Maybe it happened the week after or the week before. But a, um, a guy about, I don't know, maybe six inches shorter than Crowder. Uh, just completely a lifetime flattened, union guy, flattened yeah. Uh, Crowder. Yeah, that was. I'm not in favor of anything like that. I want to make it clear. I would okay. watch. I think Jose Nadejay did a good breakdown of some of the context, and that basically made it sh- show what, provo- what sort of provocations uh, preceded it. Friday night viewing for me. Uh, Kelly Square Rotary. The whole minimum wage also has to take into account that they even let them work 40 hours and not just have everyone part time so they don't have to pay benefits too. Mm. That's absolutely true. Yes, 100%. Like I say, if they can uh, just run people through there, uh, they will do it. 